Good morning, it's Sunday and it is the 19th of July. Crikey, nearly what the end of July already. It's a beautiful day outside, let me just show you. Look at that, blue sky. It's amazing. So yeah, lovely day outside. Um, I got up originally at five to wake Tom up. He's got an early shift at work today and I stayed up for about an hour making my coffee and stuff. But then um, I decided, unusually for me, because normally I can't go back to sleep, but I decided today that I was going to because I'm tired. So I went back to bed and didn't get up till eight o'clock. So I had a bit of a slow start to the day, which is just great. Um, and I've just made my cup of coffee. I'm not going to do breakfast just yet, I don't think, because I think Eddie's going to get up and do his workout. Um, it's a rest day for me today and I've took the decision not to run either um, I think it's been a really hectic few weeks and I think I just need a bit of chill time so um, I've got to go and visit my parents today um, but that's the only thing I've got planned um, and I could, should really do a load of housework but to be honest I'm just going to try and have a chill day I'm going to do some meal prep so I'll probably show you some of that um, to get me ready for, for some of the week ahead but yeah apart from that it's going to be quite a chilled one I hope um, so yeah I'll catch you when I do breakfast in a bit. So I thought I'd try and do a bit of an outfit of the day. I don't normally do these. I'm not very body confident, so it takes quite a lot for me to do one of these. Um, but yeah, this dress I've put on today because it's a nice summer day. And I think last time I wore this dress was probably, I'm thinking 15 years ago, because I think it might've been Ewan's christening, but then I could be wrong. I can't remember being a size 14 after Ewan's christening and this is a sort of 14 this dress which is another reason why I'm doing it as an outfit of the day because when I started my sim world journey in January I was a size 18 and I'm managing to fit into 14s now so I'm really chuffed. Um, there is a lot of bra on show and I don't know if I can feel confident enough to go without a bra right now. But I think it'd look better without one or if I had a pink one to put underneath. But yeah so I haven't worn this dress for many many years. Um, last time I wore it I did put spanks underneath to try and hide a bit of this tongue. Um, but having said that, it has gone down quite a bit, to be fair. I've still got this last bit here that I really want to get rid of. Um, I'm hoping that if I lose another couple of stone and carry on exercising, that it might go down a little bit. I mean, I don't expect a flat stomach if I've three children, but I would just like to get rid of that bit there. But yeah, so I do think you can tell the improvement from working out. I do feel like I'm getting a lot more sort of structure of muscle on my arm. I um, haven't quite lost the bingo rings yet, but I do feel like they're going down slightly. And I think on the back, I don't know how much you can see the back, because obviously I can't see you now turn around, but um, I think a lot of my back fat has gone, or certainly improved. So I'm quite pleased with that. But yeah, so this is this dress. I can't show you how long it is, because obviously I'm too short and I've got nothing to stand on. Um, let me see if I can just tilt the camera down a little bit. So you can see it's about knee length. Um, I don't, don't really like maxi dresses because obviously I'm quite short. So, so yeah, um, it's got a nice little sparkly trim here. So this was from, I think, Debenhams. I'm sure it was either one of the kids' Holy Communions or it was a christening. But I'm quite chuffed with that, to be fair. It's also got a little cardi that goes with it. I'll show you that quickly. So if you do want to hide your arms, a little bit of your arms, you can. And I think this is what I did last time to hide, because I don't think I wore a bra with it last time. So I think this is to hide my lack of bra. I don't think it fastens, it's just a little over the top to cover a multitude of sins. I've also got quite bad tan lines from obviously taking Luna out and running. But yeah, so I'm quite pleased with finding things back out of my wardrobe that I haven't worn for a long time. <coughs> it's just a pity I didn't keep more of, of the um, this stuff that didn't fit me because obviously it would fit me now. And now I've got a big wardrobe full of stuff that doesn't fit me. But hey, you live and learn. So, um, so yeah. Just thought I'd show you that I don't do outfits of the day very often, but I thought I would do this because it's a non-scale victory for me as well. So I shall catch you in a bit. 
here is my breakfast this morning so I've made some pancakes so this is my health extra beef it's 40 grams of oats that I've blitzed down in a blender and it's got two eggs half a teaspoon of baking powder and two tablespoons of Greek 0% yogurt so it's a health extra B I probably will count half a sin for the baking powder although really half a teaspoon I don't think matters too much and um, obviously the rest is sin free and then I've got some strawberries for speed I've got a breakfast top which is a mixture of pineapple mango and strawberries I think is what's in there so I think that might be a mixture of I don't know if there's any melon as well there might be looking at that so there's a mixture of speed and free in there too and over the top I've just got a tiny bit of the butterscotch um, my protein sugar free syrup so I'm not counting any sins for that because it's such a small amount I think you can have something like six tablespoons for half a sin but I've got nowhere near that so and with that I've got a cup of tea and a glass of water and I'm going to enjoy this it's actually quite late it's actually just before 12 it's about 5 to 12 I started making my breakfast about half 11 just wasn't very hungry before so I'm having it more like a brunch so and then I'll have my Sunday dinner as my um, my evening meal and then I'll just be able to have a bit of flexibility on on snacks so that's my plan for today and I shall catch you later I've been sitting editing my videos um, and I'm going to see if I can go and visit my mum and dad in a minute. I have to wait for them to have their dinner because their dinner is normally quite early. Um, but I'm hoping to pop down there and then I'm going to get on with doing our dinner when I get back and some meal prep. I've been sitting all morning and realised that my videos just seem to be getting longer and longer. So I was thinking of switching my what I eat in a day is to being every day rather than every other day because I put two days combined together. And I think unless they're going to be quite short, perhaps I should move them to being every day. It does mean extra editing for me, which isn't always that easy. Um, and it might be they have to switch to putting them up in the evening. But I just think that you're not going to want to sit through 25 minutes. The most, re most recent one's 24 minutes. Because I like to kind of vlog a bit of my life in there. It's not just a what I eat in a day. It's a day in the life of, kind of. Um, that's why I tend to think it's getting longer. So... People comment that they quite like the bloggy side of it, so I don't really want to stop doing that. And um, the other alternative is that I do some day in the lives and only do uh, uh, occasional what I eat in days. But to be honest, they're keeping me accountable and I really enjoy doing them. So I don't really want to do that. So that's why I've got such an issue nose. <laughs> really bad. But, um, but yeah, so let me know in the comments what you think, whether you prefer the format I do now or whether you'd rather me switch to doing every every day rather than every other day. Um, I mean what I do with people that I watch is I tend to, um, if I'm particularly busy I have a bit of a catch up session and just sit and watch through their videos one after the other after a few days to sort of like catch up but I know I know sometimes it's information overload but yeah if you could let me know in the comments what you think and also if there's any additional videos you'd like to see me make let me know about those too um, I'm heading up towards 400 subscribers now um, I'm really really looking forward to getting to 500 so um, obviously I want to have content that people want to watch rather than just what I'm doing for the sake of doing. So let me know what you think and I shall catch you later. Decided to snack on some watermelon. Had to mute the audio because the kids were playing music quite loud. So I thought I'd do a quick voiceover. Hi, it's a bit later now. Um, I've been to visit my parents and then I got back and started to prepare dinner took Luna out for a quick walk, it's quite hot out there for her so we only did a quick one today and then I'll show you my dinner that I've got prepared so there's some potatoes roasting in the apple fry, there's some fry light and in here I've got carrots, sweet corn, green beans and some savoy cabbage and then there's some broccoli to go on just before the end so I've got roast chicken in the oven I've just got about 36 minutes after I'm actually to put these on there just so that they're cooking um, I haven't done any new potatoes today, I just thought I'd choose just to do roast potatoes today and have quite a light dinner. Here is my Sunday dinner. I've got roast chicken that's free. I've got roast potatoes done in Actify, they're free. I've got broccoli, green beans, cabbage and carrots for speed. And I've got a tablespoon, possibly a little bit more than a tablespoon of gravy over the top. Probably about a sin's worth. So that's my dinner today and I shall catch you later. I decided to treat myself to an iced coffee. This is one of the blue new ice special iced coffee um, pods from Nespresso. 
and it's got three ice cubes in here and then just probably about 100 mils of milk to top it up. I've not tried it yet, but it looks fairly weak looking at that, but we'll see what it's like. It's not the strongest, but it's actually quite nice. I've just eaten my dinner, so I'm quite full now. So I'm going to go and drink this and have a sit down for a bit and perhaps look at some holidays and I shall show you when I have some pudding. I've also got this massive spot on my chin, so I do apologise for the other imposter that's appearing on the screen at the moment. <laughs> and I shall catch you later. Bye. Here is my pudding. I've got a load of strawberries for speed. I've got the Brooklier Raspberry Protein Yogurt, which is one and a half sins. Well, actually, I can't find the raspberry one in the app, but the vanilla and the peach and passion fruit one are both one and a half sins, so I'm going to treat it the same way. I assume it's more or less the same. And I've got two of the Morrison's um, meringue nests that are two and a half sins each. So this is five sins for the meringue and one and a half for the yogurt, so six and a half sins for pudding. And I think that'll be me done for the day because this is a monstrous pudding, it's huge. Um, so yeah, that's me done for the day and I shall see you again tomorrow for the next one. Bye. Good morning. Today's Monday. It's a work from home day. It's another full on one this week because I've got my audit. So we're doing it remotely for the first time. So we're going to see how that pans out. Um, if it doesn't work out too well, I might have to go into the office at some point, either this week or next week. But hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully we can do it all remotely. Um, I got up about six today, half six maybe. Um, I had to wake my son up for work so he was at work had to leave at half seven so i got up early started to make a, a bit of a job on um editing my video didn't get too far really started my workout at half seven and that was an hour long I had a quick shower and i'm logged on to work and busy at it <laughs> i've decided that i'm not going to have a big breakfast now i'm going to perhaps do a slightly earlier brunchy lunch but i'm going to have well i'll show you what i'm having now so as it's nice and warm and sunny, I just fancied some fruit. So I've got in here, I've got a pink lady apple that I've chopped up. Um, that's speed. I've got an easy peeler, like a satsuma, and that should be speed. And some strawberries, and they're speed. At the side, I've got a banana, and that is free. And over here, I have got a protein shake with one scoop of protein powder in. And then it's got 100 mils of skim milk out of my Healthy Extra A, my first one. So I've currently used 130 mils because I had coffee when I first got up and um, the rest of it's water. So the raw sins in that, this is the diet waste protein powder. So this is four and a half sins. So for all this lot, it's four and a half sins. And I shall catch you later next time I have something. Here is my lunch. It's a salad. So there's lettuce, cucumber and tomatoes under there. And they're all speed. I've got some bacon that's had all the fat removed that I've cooked until it's crispy and then there's some fajita chicken which is the one from Aldi which I'm treating as being sin free like the others in that range so it's chicken and bacon and salad I've got a roughly probably a tablespoon of the light salad cream and I'll put some sins on screen for that um, I think it's one or two but I'll check and then I've got a baby bell which will be the rest of my first health extra A I had 100 mils of skim milk in my protein shake and I had some milk in my tea and my coffee this morning. Sorry about that, I was getting shouted from downstairs. Um, so I'm classing that as being the rest of my first healthy extra A because I'd say half it was milk. So I think you can have three of those for healthy extra A but I'm going to class that as being the end of my first healthy extra A because I think that'll probably be about right. Um, here is what I'm having now anyway and with that I've just got my bottle of water and I've still got my banana here from this morning that I'm not eating yet so I'm just going to get on and eat this and I just will show you what else I'm having later. Hi, I've just got back, I had to nip to Morrison's because I just realised I've got something missing that I wanted to have for dinner. Um, I'll quickly show you what I've got in there just so that you can see what I've got extra this week. I bought Cravendale skimmed milk because we are on our last one bought two packs of these meringues i need to check the sins again but last time i had them they worked out two and a half sins each which i thought was really good so i've actually bought two packs of those because um 
everyone's been really envious of my puddings so I thought I'd better get some for everybody I've bought um, four of these which is the vanilla flavour quark so I'm quite into those instead of protein shakes at the moment just move those out the way I bought some frozen french fries which is for everybody else to have for dinner I'm not having them, I'm going to put the actual fry on for mine um, I'm doing the Greek gyros and they'd be quite nice with some fries inside so I saw those on offer and I picked them up I bought some pak choy because I need that for a recipe I'm doing during the week um, and they didn't have any in Aldi when I went so I've picked that up in there I've picked up some baby corn just for a different type of speed because they were on offer I've picked up some of the light squirty cream because that could be quite nice on top of the eat fake it and mess with the meringues this is the one thing i popped in for and that was the sweet well i actually wanted a white cabbage but this is the closest i had they've got a sweetheart cabbage because you know like when you do a kebab thing and then when you get one from the shop they put white cabbage lettuce cucumber and tomatoes like the salad inside so i wanted that so i went in for that one item and come up with all this and then i bought some gammon ham that was reduced to two pound 45 and it's dated tomorrow, so I just thought, if anything, we can just snack on it whilst I'm doing dinner. So that little lot came to £15.95, which isn't the cheapest, but at least I've got some more of the protein yogurts and some more meringues. And the chips just make it quicker for everyone for tea. Um, the reason I actually popped on before showing you all that was just because I was a little bit gobsmacked, actually. I picked up, I normally pick up these Mediterranean veg and I normally check them to make sure that they are, sorry I'm just chucking my receipt in my bag everywhere, I normally check that they're sin free when I pick them up but I didn't this time in Aldi and I couldn't believe this, so I'll just show you what they are. So it's these Mediterranean style vegetables and I actually picked up two packs because I thought oh that'd be really good for speed, it's got onions and peppers and tomatoes and courgettes, really good to get a bit of speed in there for my dinner and it'll go really nicely with those kebabs. So imagine my surprise when I looked in the app and for a quarter of that pack, it's three and a half sins. Which means that, that that whole pack is what, 16 sins for the pack? Even though it's mainly veggies. I mean, I can't believe for one minute there is that much oil on there to warrant 16 sins. I don't even know how much oil that is, but they don't look oily at all. Um, I'm really, really shocked. I'm really shocked. I mean, it says on here, per half a pot, it's 72 calories. So how can that be right? How can that be three and a half sins? It's got to be wrong, surely. I, I really don't understand how a load of veggies... I mean, you'd have to deep fry it to get it for like three and a half sins for 100 grams. So I don't know whether just to ignore it and go on the calorie count and just work my own sins out, because... I mean, that'd be th that would be three and a half sins, but that's for half the pack, it says. I'm sure it says half a pack. You know what my eyesight's like. I'm getting to the light so I can see like a proper old person. Yeah, per half a pack. Whereas this is 400 grams, and it says in the app that 100 grams is three and a half sins. So I think it should be half the pack. I think it's wrong. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sin it like that. I'm gonna put some on my plate. I'll count three and a half sins, but I'm... I'm splitting two packs between five of us and I'm going to count three and a half since I'm not counting any more than that regardless of how many I have because I just don't believe it to be honest so <laughs> that's my little rant over <laughs> and if it affects my weight loss it affects my weight loss but that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to look at the other pack to see whether that looks any more oily and it really doesn't it's got herbs on it but it really doesn't look like it's got much oil on it at all how strange. Anyway, I thought I'd just tell you just to be careful when you buy these things, because normally I am. But obviously I was in such a rush, and with all the shopping I bought, I just didn't even think to check this time. But I'll know for next time. So anyway, I'll show you when I'm doing dinner. I'm not sure whether to turn them over or not, to be honest. I don't really want to disturb them, so I think I might leave them there. Um, I'm going to put the chips in the oven now. I was going to do myself some match fried chips, but I think I might just stick myself a potato or something, a baked potato in the oven. Perhaps microwave it and then just finish it off in the oven. Um, not too sure because I've not got any time now to do um, to do um, active fried chips really. I'll show you what I'm serving these in. So for everybody else they've got these white flat buns and then I'm having a seeded one because this is a healthy extra bee. 
going to get on now and I'm going to cut the cabbage up to make the salad and some onions and I shall be back to show you it all in a bit. I don't know what I'm recording. Where is it now? Is it over there? This one's mine. This is mine. This is my evening meal. I've got the Mediterranean veg that's been roasted in the oven. I've got a jacket potato with a laughing cow extra light on. So that's sin free. And that is part of my healthy extra A, my second one. And then on here, I've got one of the seeded flatbreads from Aldi that's a healthy extra B. I've got some of the cabbage, onion and lettuce salad that I've made that's got lemon juice on. I've got the chicken from Blackie. And then I've got some homemade yoghurt mint that's in free on top of that. So I'm really looking forward to this now, so I'm going to talk in and enjoy it. And I shall catch you later for pudding or snacks. So I didn't end up eating my jacket potato with the healthy extra laughing cow light on. I just didn't need it and actually it tasted a little bit sweet. So, But you know what? The chicken was absolutely beautiful. It was a big hit with everybody. Everybody's really, really enjoyed dinner. So I'm so pleased I did it. Definitely want to add to the repertoire. I mean, it wasn't the quickest to make. Now I've got the seasoning mix, though. It'll probably be quicker next time. Now I've made some in, in, in bulk. Um, the plan for tomorrow is I think I'm going to do the hoisin peanut chicken. And I've decided there's no point prepping it in advance because basically you put rice into the tray and stock and then you put that into the oven covered with foil and then you put your chicken on top. I could, I suppose, marinate my chicken today. Hmm. Because that worked quite well today, actually. I might do that. I might... Um... Oh, no, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to do it fresh tomorrow. It doesn't say to marinate it in advance on this one. Um, this is using chicken thighs, so we've got that for, today, for tomorrow's dinner. And that's going to go with the pak choy that I bought tonight. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I'm really excited for food this week, so <laughs> I'm glad I've gone through and, and obviously decided on what I'm making. So I shall try and show you each one I do, because obviously it might give you some ideas, even if you tweak it. So I'm going to have a snack, but I shall show you. I'm not going to have it yet. It's only half eight, and we've already... I finished dinner about half an hour ago, so it's quite early for me. So um, I've just finished sort of clearing everything up and putting the hot plates in to soak from the Opti Grill. And I'm going to go and make a cup of tea now and then I'm going to go and have a sit down for a bit and then decide if I need anything else or not because right now I'm really full. So I'll show you if I have anything. <laughs> 